Jeff Hardy like that. I just I don't get it. Man, he's he's supposed to be in the clinks, man. Behind bars. You say he posting drones? Yeah, this man flying the drone over his lawn. Bullshit. <laughs> man. <laughs> don't get me started on this. Y'all still praying for him. I'm not. The strong as the fastest, the roughest, the toughest, the quickest, the greatest. The almighty. Apollo! I'm the blueprint and I am the legit boss. Feel this glow. Can you dig it? New day. Worldwide. The A champion. Hold on a minute, player. We are the nation. Of the nation. Oh, my brother. Testify. We want the smoke. You're rocking with the number one wrestling podcast in the game, the Black Announce Table Podcast, featuring Sky High Heath, Cody Dre, and Ms. Suku. Booyah! Uh, yes, sir. Be back, man. It's time to work. I mean, it's no other way around it. Time to work. Episode 233. Yeah, man. 233. Till I D-I-E. You get situated. Make sure I'm straight. Yeah, man. Yeah. Y'all know, y'all see the name NBA Sick Boy. <laughs> I'm here, man. I made, look, man. Last episode, I made fun of Click. And when he, I tell you, he was doing too much. When he lost his voice. Oh, man, karma is real. So, what are you doing? <laughs> now look at you. <laughs> karma is so real, boy. I'm over here crying. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to drink no hot tea or nothing? That's all I've been drinking all day. So. Hot tea? Yeah, man. Hot you got tea. I don't know what the hell I got right now. I just been taking medicine, been taking a little medicine and drinking tea and relaxing. So they can be self diagnosing himself. <laughs> <laughs> self diagnosing, my brother. Yeah, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the doctor tomorrow, but yeah, I've just been. I was trying to see if I could, you know, what I'm saying, make like get myself right by myself, but now nah, I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna just go to the doctor, get everything. <laughs> Can't how, do it. Son. How long has been going on? Um. Well, today is the real day. Yesterday, yesterday I was, I knew I was getting sick. I just felt it. I'm like, damn, son. I just feel it coming along. Then today, I was like, yeah, it's over. Damn, you, you think it's that coronavirus? Nah, I did. I did take a test, multiple tests. I'm cool. <laughs> At home, Jace. <laughs> yeah. Just sure, not funny. I'm over here chuckling. It's not funny. <laughs> but, had to make sure I'm right. Word. At least I can still go outside. <laughs> word. Now, I know, I know exactly what it was, too. That damn hookah. <laughs> hookah burnt the nigga lungs up. <laughs> Yo, that's how I think I got pneumonia. So I think I got pneumonia from hookah, too, to be honest with you. I believe it's one of two things. It's either the mo- uh, pneumonia, it's either the hookah or something else. That I can't say, but man, the, the, I, what you had like a cough or some shit? <clears throat> like nah, it was just like sore. My throat was just sore. Pause if necessary. Man, pause. <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> hey, yo, yeah, man, just felt it coming. Like yeah, it's just we here though. You know what I'm saying? We striving through. Episode 233. We're going to get through it. It's all about perseverance. That's all it is, man. I can't let the people down. We're we we going to give them two hours today. We're going to give them an hour 20. You say that now. <laughs> I already said. We, we we be saying that when, like, it don't be much to talk about. And those episodes just be stretching because we be you know, in our bag. So. Where niggas start laughing at some shit, bring up some other shit. You never know. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's just like I don't even... Try to put a time or 
try to be like it's a light show anymore like nah <laughs> you never know so not for real we you never really never know what a light show usually like an hour 30 is like all right this is a this is a nice you feel me it's good enough it's the perfect length for a show especially for us but sometimes we just got either we got mad questions or we you know it's one of them days where we got to do uh predictions and all types of shit and yeah, you end up running two fifteen and all that, but hey, though, though that that's what comes with podcasting sometimes, man. You try to you know put a limit or you, you aim for a hard out and you just can't. Feel me? Yeah, it is what it is. My boy, you about to head out across the country. I'm out of here. Y- y'all see the name Pina Colada Don Dada, man. Splash. Yeah. By the time y'all hear this, I'll be gone. I'll be out of here. Feel me? Passport stamped. Outside, mm. you feel me? Smoking hookah, drinking tropical drinks, sun hitting my body. You know what I'm saying? Chilling, man. What a win! Word. I'm lounging, Crocs, a damn polo sweatsuit. <laughs> like I'm chilling, man. <laughs> I got a, I got the matching shorts and the 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 shirt to match. Oh yeah, you want a different time, man. I already I see it. Man. I went, got a manicure and pedicure on Sunday. Man, hey yo, self care is self care is needed. You feel me? Definitely. I ain't do that. When was the last time? The last thing, the last time I got a manicure and pedicure was when I after I got in the car accident. That was like back in March. Mm. And like I went to a new a new lady this time, but. She was massaging my calves. You feel me? Hitting the calf muscles. I was like, boy, I was in that chair holding back moans. I was like, man, <laughs> I'm in this bitch about to moan. <laughs> Kicking this nigga smooth out the shot. <laughs> Freaky ass. That's how you feel? Freaky ass. <laughs> I was in that bitch about to moan, son. I was like, nah, this shit feel great. Shit, for a second, the way she was massaging my legs, I was like, damn, like, I almost thought I couldn't use my legs for a minute. I got up like that. I was like, I could walk. You feel me? Like, <laughs> that shit was incredible. Mm. Nigga, I stood up. I was limping all through the shit, all through the weekend from work. I was like, damn. I got up out that chair. I was like, damn, it's a miracle. That shit was incredible. Yeah. I'm definitely about to come back here. Nah, you gotta. That self care is very important. Nah, this facts. Hit the shop. They take care of you. They massage my hands and shit like that. I was like, oh, I, like, I ain't never had this before. <laughs> that shit felt great. Hey, f- fellas, definitely yo, take care of yourself, man. Don't be, I know something, there's a lot of misconceptions. You feel me about manicures and pedicures? Oh, that's, you feel me? That's for the ladies. That's women. But, hey, all right, you feel me? You about to, you about to swindle yourself out of uh, pleasure. You feel me? It feels mm-hmm. great. And you need it, you feel me? You don't want to step out with no busted toes. Trust me, lady, ladies, they look at every every single piece of your appearance, you feel me? From head to toe, they're going to scope you. So yeah. if you got busted feet, it's like, ah, come on, man. You out here looking crazy. My feet not busted no more. <laughs> I took care of myself. Niggas had the bunions on this shit. No. Niggas had the, um, what's it, um, Cole from Martin. <laughs> Miss Pearly joints. <laughs> we just had to take the damn the grind, the sandblast. <laughs> oh yeah, boy, nah, my shit was bad. Shit was sizzling, son. I put my feet in the 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 damn the water with the bubbles and the massage. <laughs> All I heard was, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like, we here. I think it was frying bacon, man. Finally. <laughs> you know I, mean? I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was hyped. I just got some last minute shopping to do. I gotta do that tomorrow. I gotta pick up like some small shit. I got like a shirt. Mm-hmm. Like a um like a dress shirt and what else? Like a belt. And that's it. Like I don't need no like no crazy shit. How, how, how long you gonna be out there? Um, I'm coming back Tuesday for like five days. Man, hold on, man. That deserves a round of applause. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. 
That's oh, fine. Man. Out there five days, about to be chilling. Come back. Coming back straight to the work, too. But, hey, it is what it is. I, I told niggas June going to be a busy month, and the boy, <laughs> shit been hectic. Man, who you telling, man? That's why I want you to enjoy yourself, man. You deserve it. Oh, man, thanks. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go cool off, come back, get straight to the work. Shit about to be even more work. I'm about to double the workload. <laughs> feel me? But at least I got the break. You feel me? The breaks is necessary. Because the last time niggas went on a break, I had went on vacation. Was it what? January? Oh, yeah, yep. You feel me? You went on, on your birthday trip. I went on vacation, too. Niggas came back and went crazy for six months. You feel me? Yep. Everything niggas done did in that span. So, you feel me? We about to... Well, I can't tell niggas what we, what we got in the works, but we, we working, man. So, trust me. I, I, a nigga need this break. You feel me? This, this five days. I'm coming back to knock you niggas upside the head some more. Real talk. Um, I do want to mention. What do what do I want to mention? Um, the Black Pod Connect that went on last week. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying we joined forces with Black Wrestling, uh, in the A Show. You know saying raise money for the uh, uh the wrestling club. Thanks for the cheering. For the cheering, that was that was dope, man. I'm not gonna lie, that was uh that was very well put together, um, and it was uh honor and privilege to sit there with 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 the with the with the fam, like you know what I'm saying. Facts, like I said on the show, man. Shouts to Mills, shouts to uh, Mimi, shouts to KP, um, because they they put in a lot of work on the back end to to make everything happen. And boy, just it's a, a lot of work went into that, you know what I'm saying? And it's still going. I've seen um a lot of coverage. Fightful covered the um the you know the fundraiser, um and they they covering it some more out in the UK. Um, so what what is it? Cultaholics? I think I seen Cultaholics and all of them. Mm-hmm. One culture, all of them. They they covering it also. So man, look, we like I said, we we doing it for the kids, it's special. Um. And we want to get them out there for uh, for WrestleMania if it's possible. You know, well, we definitely we see it's possible because in about a week we raised well over four thousand dollars. So, yep. uh, man, so shouts to you know everybody that donated, um, everybody that tapped in, everybody that was a part of it, and in one way or another, man, we we appreciate you, we love you, and thank you for the support, man, for real. Do it for the cheering. That's Great like fact. that. That's a fact, man. Um, what else, man? What else we got to get into? Well, Chris is not here. Facts, really. I always got to hit my drop. Chris getting a DMP for Chris. The world's most loyalist. DMP. Or a DMP for Chris. Yo, niggas did. <laughs> <laughs> niggas did Tim Duncan filthy. He had a DMP. They put old. Next <laughs> yeah. They yeah. violated it. It was facts, though. <laughs> Word. This nigga body can't take it no more, man. <laughs> Why are you out? Oh, man. Actually, Very I can't like take that. a whole 48 minutes of basketball. You crazy. Timmy D. That nigga Tim Duncan retired from basketball to become a martial arts fucking black belt. Swag. <laughs> Tim Duncan always was a weird nigga, man. Facts. I never liked Tim Duncan. I respect him. I just I never liked him for real. Yeah. I, just for that fact too. I was like, bro, who who is this? Who are these niggas? <laughs> niggas. I'm like, yo, you don't speak. You don't look like you tough. You feel me? Your game ain't like super flashy. Like, yo, what's what's happening here? But he, you feel me? He a silent assassin. Nigga, kill you on the court. Drop buckets on you, and he grabbing boards. Yeah, man, I never was a fan either like that. The nigga was just boring, son. <laughs> Word. Like, nigga, show some flash, please. Something. Break the rim. <laughs> like Shaq, nigga. Bro, you ever seen his shoes, them gold domes? <sighs> yeah. Ugly ass them boots, them bricks. Come on, man. 
Tim Duncan got his own signature shoe. Whoever made that decision was just like, dog, y'all, y'all was like reaching for the moon right now. The word Tim Duncan, Nike and Tim Duncan. Who gave Tracy McGrady a shoe? That was re- was it Reebok? I want to say Adidas. Yeah, no, nah, you're right. It might have been. I think it was Adidas. Hey, y'all niggas are gonna learn to stop signing with Adidas one day, man. <laughs> Tracy McGrady. We can move on after. I just want to see <laughs> <laughs> Tracy McGrady shoes. Yeah, it was Adidas. Man, I will never sign up Adidas in my life. Feel yeah, me? Not even for the Yeezys? Nah, man. I got a wide foot. I can't even wear them shits. Yeah. You feel me? I got to sign Nike. That even in 2K, like I was, it's all, it's Nike, bro. Yeah. I'm never signing with no, I'm not signing Jordan brand. I remember I fucked up in like 2K18 one time. Like I signed a Nike deal and put on some Jordan ones by accident. Niggas, the Nike reps hit me like, yo, we're cutting your contract. I was like, yo, what I do? <laughs> I wasn't getting paid by Nike no more. I was like, wow, are they serious about this in 2K? That shit was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga thought he was ill, threw up some J's. <laughs> Nigga, if you'll take these shits off. They cut that nigga ASAP. Yeah, they dropped me from the label. I was like, wow. <laughs> the niggas in 2K did be filthy, man. I bet you, you player was <laughs> I bet your player wasn't even ill yet. <laughs> he was like some <laughs> mid nigga. They cut that shit out ASAP. <clears throat> nah, the funny thing, I had just became a starter too. <laughs> like, I think I wore him like I might have worn him to like matching the pro am or something like that. Like I, I bought some my like, union ones or something like that, just to you know to to be flying the pro am. Niggas like, yeah, we're not having this, Chief. Sorry, cut me. Damn, no bread, no bread, no discounts on Nike product, no nothing. Like, <laughs> niggas ain't Jordan ain't even circle back with a deal. Like nigga, I ain't get no no love. Finished the season out, tried to see if they was gonna offer me something. Niggas ain't offer me shit. I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, niggas is gonna be dirty, man. News and rumors. Yes, sir, man. News and rumors episode 233, Black Announce Table Podcast. Man, it's only right. Let that news fly. Let that news fly. Um, I'm gonna kick things off. We're gonna dive into this. BRP man, BRP fifty list. You know what I'm saying? The good people at Black Wrestling came with their list. Fifty black wrestlers. Mm-hmm. Round of applause for that, by the way. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, uh, shouts out to Bianca Belair for coming in at number one. Uh, Bobby Lashley. Well, I gotta bring it up. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. Let me bring it up. Uh, Bobby Lashley, number two, number three, Jay Cargill, four, Big E, five, Sasha Banks, six, Carmelo Hayes, seven, Jonathan Gresham, eight, Ricky Starks, nine, Scorpio Sky, and ten, Tasha Steels. That's your top ten for the BRP fifty. I like it. Yeah, man, I don't really have any complaints at all, son. I like it, man, because they they really put in the work and they they keep their eye on all of these these black talents. You feel me? Like they 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 keep their shouts to shouts to them because they really keep their ear to the streets for real. You know what I'm saying? They keep their eye on everybody and they rank them. You feel me accordingly? Because. There's people on this list. I ain't no. I have no clue who some of these people are. I probably would have never heard about them had it not been for BRP. You know what I'm saying? So, and we we need people like that, you know, in the community also. That's looking out and saying, "Yo, look, check, look out for this person." You feel me? Don't forget about this person. So, shouts to them for that, man. That list, Matt, on word to Avery, it's magnifique. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> magnifique. Shout out to y'all, man. Yeah. And it got mad coverage too, which is, is always is very dope. Um, 
in, in the past years. Every year, I feel like it's, it's more and more coverage on it, which is like it's just a beautiful thing to see because they really they've been busting their ass. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I love the fact that um, a lot of people reached out and, and was was hyped to be on the list. Ricky Starks, um, Carmelo Hayes, shit, Booker T even, you know what I'm saying? Quote tweeted it and, and shouted them out. So the, the BRP 50 list is, is stamped, man. It's official. Like a referee with a whistle. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I, I'm like, yeah, this is dope. It's just dope to see, like, um, the list going around and getting this recognition, like you were saying, like it's just dope to see that, like, cause they deserve it. The time and everything they put in to make this list. And also shouts out to the wrestlers that took it in a good way because it was some wrestlers that that showed their ass. So Man. I'm I'm not gonna mention who, but it was some of y'all that y'all really showed your ass, and I was very disappointed in that. <laughs> Some of y'all, some of y'all niggas, man. Very, very disappointing, man. In a couple of y'all. Tell me. Whoo. Moose. Moose doubled down with the with the foolery. I was like, oh, hey, here you go with the Tom Foolery. Now here come Gail Kim chiming chiming in. Gail Kim, mind your mind your business. Mind your white business, Gail Kim. <laughs> what is she Korean? Was Gail Kim Korean? You're not getting me here. I'll make well. I would just Gail Kim. Mind your white business. So <laughs> I'll leave it there. <laughs> Please. <laughs> hey, you and black people business too much. Stay out of this. Yeah. You ain't on the list, man. You're not black. This list is for Africans only. You know what I'm saying? Here you come talking about great point, Moose. Shut up. Word. I'm go somewhere, yeah. That, that that rubbed me the wrong way too. I'm like, all right, man, get out of here. Or move. But yeah, man. Um, looking stupid. <laughs> and and the, the crazy thing, I was like, dog, you number nineteen, like, like what's you top twenty? What's bad about that? Like, man said, take me off your list. Yeah, look, y'all better than me, man. I. <laughs> I <would've killed> my <laughs> ass. <laughs> Where did you want to be off the list? I would have went crazy. Y'all better than me, man. Talking about some take me off the list. You lucky you on the motherfucker. Like I would have, boy. I would have put the and one mi- mixtape man, the nigga with no face. That would have been number nineteen. <laughs> Y'all lucky, man. If it was me, I'm like t- okay, no problem. I would have yoink. You coming right off that list? I would have put me. I'd have put all sorts of random niggas, man. George Jefferson, I would have put anybody in there instead of you. <laughs> Nigga, everybody make the list over you. Yeah, man. That was that was nasty. That was real nasty. They showed they showed their ass on that one. Man. Hopefully that's the last time a, a damn a black wrestler does some corny shit like that. Look, it's like the second time in a row, but I'm you sure never, there'll be more. You never know with these niggas, man. I'm sure there'll be more. Um, moving right along, I want to get into Randy Orton. I'm um, expected to miss the remainder of this year. Damn. Um, he legitimate has a back injury. More than likely, he's gonna need surgery. And this is this is it's disappointing, man. The roster is just in shambles right now. It's just like the injury with Cody, the Sasha Banks thing, Roman working less dates, and this is a big blow right here. This is a big blow. Like I, I'm pretty sure Orton was gonna face Roman at SummerSlam, and we are getting to SummerSlam a little bit later. But and it's just it, it's sad, man, because Orton was at peak popularity. As a as a baby face right now, that's facts. It sucks, man. Like WWE taking a lot of blows right now, man. Like Cody gone, Randy Orton gone, Roman not working as many dates, Sasha and Naomi gone. It's like, dog, what are we doing, bro? Like niggas really had to to hit the in case of emergency. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit is tough, man. 
I thought the back injury thing was just so you know what I'm saying? Like they they work, you know what I'm saying? But damn, like my, my son been on such a roll too, so it really sucks to see him out. Yeah. You never know, man. Yeah, that was sad to read this week. Um we got some John Laurinaitis being put on administrative leave <laughs> during his role in the whole Vince thing with Vince stepping down as CEO of the company. So uh-huh. Johnny Ace, the yeah. fall guy, everybody's saying he's going to be the fall guy for this, already being placed on administrative leave. What, what, what's your thoughts on this whole thing? Johnny Ace, why you fucked everything up, man? It's all because of you. Everybody got that one friend that fucks shit up. Nigga can never, like, you can never, like, you. It's, just, it's always that. You always got one man to decide, like, bro. Please don't fuck this up, man. Please. <laughs> and what he do? Fuck it up. Johnny Ace, man, you got, you're out of here. You feel me? You're gone, pal. Who who steps in this place? Uh, Bruce Pritchard. Mm. Yeah. Bruce Pritchard is now interim head of talent relations. All right. Well, John, I feel like John Laurinaitis wasn't doing anything anyways besides telling niggas they fired. Like, well, we released you. It's like, all right, nigga, go home. Wish you the best on your future elevators. Well, he, he had an easy gig. <laughs> whenever whenever they just sent him a list and that nigga just loaded up the, the text messages or the emails, the, the, the drafts, you had the easy gig. Copy and paste. Insert name here. Swag. <laughs> Back it up. Look at you. <laughs> Swag. What a win. <laughs> what a job. You had the easiest job in the world, son. Fucked it up. Getting paid hundreds of thousands. Shit, maybe millions. Nah. That's your man. Nah, I don't know that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> my, man, my mans would never fuck up the way Johnny East did. First off, that's hey look, you gotta know who your who your man's is around you. You feel me? Like when y'all running, look, it's a it's a team. You gotta run everything like it's a team, like it's basketball, man. It's like, yo, if I'm the point, are you you feel me? Are you my two guard? I got my center right here down low. Man, look, you gotta know who on your team. Nah, that's a fact. Like, you gotta play your roles, huh? Word. Are you Kwame Brown? Are you Smush Parker? You can't have no Smush Parkers and Kwame Browns on your team. Yeah, that didn't work. We need legit people. You feel me? Good role players. Give me an Eric Gordon. Give me a Sasha Vujicic. Eric Gordon. Yo, you seen niggas wanted it. The Rockets wanted the first round pick for Eric Gordon. Boy, I almost fell out of my chair. (laughs) I was like, what? I was like, I want a first for him? Come on, now. Did he even play last year? I don't remember hearing his name at all last year. I don't know. I don't think so. That team, but. Eric Gordon. Nigga. <laughs> niggas. I remember niggas traded Kyle Corver for cash. Like, damn, nigga. <laughs> traded that nigga for some bread. And the crazy thing is, niggas use that bread to buy like a, a copy machine. <laughs> Real lie. I mean, <laughs> real shit, boy. You <laughs> traded Kyle Corbin for some bread. Dude, Kyle Corbin got traded for $40,000. Yo, that's real shit, son. Niggas wrote an article. Niggas used that bread to like buy like a copy machine or some shit. Damn. Shit, niggas traded Trey Burke for a seventh grader. <laughs> <laughs> niggas traded him for like a 2026 uh, first round pick or something like that. Damn. That nigga still developing to this. That nigga. Traded Trey Brook for Bronny. Mm. <laughs> mm. So I would have done it too, but bet. Word. Nigga, Trey Burke still in the league. That's a, that's a, alone is crazy. That's a miracle. Shouts out to Trey Burke, man. Um, what else I want to get into? Whoa. Um, let's talk about. This Booker T comment. Yes. Um, Booker T said, we got to get more weight on Adam Cole. You know what I mean? That's his problem. He's light. 
bottom light. We got to get some muscle on this kid. That's probably one of the reasons why he's going out there getting hurt because it can't be the schedule at AEW. Hmm. Well, first off, man said bottom light. Hey, yo! What, is that? what do you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? Two, look, I've seen people talking about Adam Cole, about how he don't look different. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. I have two eyes, two ears, and a fully developed frontal lobe. Look at Adam Cole when he was in NXT, and then that PC heavy, and look at Adam Cole from last week. There is a difference in Adam Cole. You think so? Nigga, Adam Cole don't look lean and cut how he used to. He looked lean and cut then? He looked pretty lean when he was in NXT. He looked leaner than he, he was now. Now he looked doughy. When mm. he was in NXT, he, he, was, he was a little lean. Well, the only reason why I say that, because like I was saying this on the show when he was on NXT. I was saying the same thing about Adam Cole like then. Well, they so the, that he, yeah, Adam Cole built like me. <laughs> like, but some niggas, they just never gonna grow. You know what I'm saying? Like, Adam Cole is one of them niggas. It's like, all right, bro, you five foot nine, 200 pounds. Like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not about to see Adam Cole at 225. You know what I'm saying? Like, yoked up. Like, that don't even, I can't even compute that in my head. Like, I don't even know what that would look like. You know what I'm saying? Like, the best Adam Cole could do is just get lean. And yeah. But as far as like him putting on weight, I don't think that's possible. You feel me? Like, nah, like both want him to get diesel. Like, nah, bro. I don't think niggas niggas ain't built like that, man. I don't think Adam Cole built like that. I'm just looking at him in this picture. I'm like, yeah, my man's got to. You know what I mean? He got to get right. Thanks. I, 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 I told y'all. Relax. I seen niggas was making a fuss about that, about what Booker said. And I was like, mm, what's what's the hubbub? You know what I'm saying? Like, why is there? That's always been the knock on him. That he's small, yeah. But it's like, come on. Booker, not, not everybody's like you, Booker. Niggas ain't knocking out 15,000 push ups a day, swole, mad diesel. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, Word, I wish. I know some niggas, bro. One of my one of my boys' brothers. He this nigga does CrossFit, works out all the time, and he's always been like 180 pounds. Like he's strong, he's lean, but he can't gain weight. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just he's one of them niggas. Was like, bro, I tried everything. I tried creatine, muscle. I tried everything, supplements. He just can't. You know what I'm saying? Get aki, but he's strong as hell. Physically, he's in great shape. He just can't put on size. That's wow. That's really wild. Especially for someone like uh, uh Adam Cole being in wrestling and being around this shit to where I'm pretty sure he's tried to do that. But like you said, some people just can't. So it is what it is, man. He's you know being making a good living. <laughs> Hopefully he can stay healthy. Facts. So. And honestly, some people don't need to put on put on weight. Or put on size, you know what I'm saying? Like, think about like in the NFL or the NBA when when some niggas put on weight and they just it just fucks their game up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I forgot who um, damn, who was it? I think it was Le'Veon Bell. This nigga lost like 20 pounds or 30 pounds or something like that. And he just he ended up getting hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't as explosive. Like it's over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some niggas just can't. Certain wide receivers, niggas put on 10 pounds and that fucks their game up. Yep. Nah, bro, like you gotta sometimes where you at is just where you need to be. That's perfect for you. Mm, I like it. I respect it. Um, what else? I think that's all I have for news and rumors. You have anything else to add? Uh rest in peace to Tim White and Dave Hebner, the um like two referees like growing up in wrestling. I seen that. I was like, damn, like I think it was on the same day, if I'm not mistaken. So rest in peace to him, man. Um I don't think I have anything else to add. We we're gonna talk about Vince showing up on our own SmackDown, right? Yes, sir. All right, so we'll we'll talk about it then.
All right. Well, you mentioned it. We could get right to it. Let's talk about it. The boy Vince. Last week, Friday, after all the shit was going down, after everything the headlines made that he'd be stepping down, we also got another headline that he would be appearing on SmackDown. And boy, did he come out there and do some bullshit, man. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga hopped off the steps, man. This, yo, he's... Yo. This man is, yo, look at this. Look at what he's doing, bro. He is coming back in six months, man. Oh, you know that. You know that. Look at this. They can't keep Vince away? This man is 74 years old, hopping off the steps. Look at the glee and joy on his face, man. Bring that picture back up. Look at this. I was, I ain't gonna hold you. I seen him did. I got scared. Like, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I got scared too. I was like, boy, you got to chill out. Relax. Word, tear your whole ACL, nigga. Shit, nigga, I'm 28 and I wouldn't even done that. Like, <laughs> word, I, like, chill. He did come out on Raw as well and wasted another minute of our time. I love it. I just like, I just feel like Vince did that just to show niggas like I ain't I'm here. I ain't never going nowhere, son. Y'all niggas can get rid of me. Nigga, this my shit. I love it. Me too. <laughs> I love the fact. I hope he keep doing this. <laughs> Next week he come out and do the same shit. <laughs> it's funny because like I don't know if niggas like wanted Vince to come out and address what was going on. Like, are you are you niggas stupid? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, are y'all dumb? You know what I'm saying? Niggas wanted Vince to just come out and, you know, address what was going on. They want to, I don't know what kind of statement y'all wanted Vince to make, but come on, man. Yeah. Also, for niggas, for every, for niggas that hate Vince, y'all sure made a lot of noise for him when he, he walked in the building. Y'all was standing up on your feet, clapping. I was like, oh, okay. Them, and, them booze was quickly drowned out. Hmm. Didn't even hear him after a while. That man, Teflon, man. I told you that. that what's up? What's up? What's up? Like this? What's the word? You know what I'm saying? Talk about some then, now, forever, and together. Like, yeah. Nigga just went off off top of the dome. Just started letting shit off. Facts. I don't got nothing to say, but good look. I appreciate y'all for copping tickets and coming to my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Salute. <laughs> That's what you need to do next time. You need to come out and just do this shit right here. Salute to y'all niggas, man. <laughs> Let the music play again and then just leave. Like Facts. That'd be some fire shit, son. Man. I ain't gonna hold you, son. I, I could definitely see him doing this shit for another. I want him to. <laughs> he gotta do it again, son. He has to. Yeah, I need I, one more time at the very least. At the very least. Come out one more time, man. I think, least, I think he's still like in charge of like creative, if I'm not mistaken. So it was just like, what really has? I mean, like, it, I don't know. I I think that's what I read. But yeah. if if that's the case, it's just like, all right, my nigga still running shit. He still got decision making powers, and he's still calling the final shots. So it's like, yeah, nah, look, it's, it's I, my shit. You know, what I'm saying? like. Come on, man. I, I tweeted that. I was like, bro, we watch a succession in real life. Like, right. I don't know what's going on. It's just a bunch of news and this nigga stepping down, allegations on this person. This person got stepped down or released, but they back in this position. It's like, all right, man. Okay. And, like, I do want to let the people know. The people that thought, like, this was the end for events. Oh, boy. Are you sadly mistaken? <laughs> And they they was they were they was there at first once the, once everything first got leaked. Oh niggas was like, oh, he finally out of here. Boy, what celebrating? Yeah. I... <laughs> this, this ain't the end of me. That boy Vince chilling <laughs> <laughs> with a blunt roll. Man. The facts. The jumping off the stage. Y'all seen how happy that nigga was? Come on, man. 
allegations, man. Look, what he did may not be right, but he but he went about it the right way, man. Mm-hmm. Popped a rating. Yeah, everybody tune in. I'm here. Word, Mr. McMahon gonna be on. He's smart. <laughs> He's like, word, I got a list. He don't be bet. I'm pulling up to SmackDown tonight. What's up? Man, I made sure I was in front of the TV. <laughs> it, it definitely worked. Word for me, too. Bro, he came out and said that shit. I started laughing. I was like, I already know y'all about to, it's about to be some backlash on that timeline. I, 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 I like on SmackDown, he came out, kick off the show, did what he did, and left. I was hyped because I could get on about my business too, nigga. <laughs> Good work. That's all I needed to say. One second. Nigga did that. This nigga turned the TV on. <laughs> Went right on about my day, nigga. Word. <laughs> Yo, I can't, son. I can't. Um, You mentioned they broke the emergency. The glass. Man, Brock Lesnar returned at the end of uh SmackDown after Roman defeated Riddle in a great match, by the way. Thanks. Um, the crowd they definitely wanted to see Riddle knock off Roman, but come on, let's be real here. But, anyways, Brock came back and they announced shortly after SummerSlam, we are here. Nigga, we ain't even get the money in the bank yet, nigga. We got the yeah. main event for SummerSlam already made official. Man. Nigga said we ain't even get the SummerSlam. They doing SummerSlam kind of early. July 30th. Word. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> We're here once again, man. This is what, the eighth time that they faced off? Oh my god, bro! I'm tired of this shit, bro. Yeah, me too, man. We we didn't need this, man. They played out every angle of this shit. <sighs> we had Paul Heyman involved. We had him not involved. We had Roman as the hell. Roman as the babyface. Brock is the, like every angle. They already did it. They didn't do it in the last man standing match, though. Oh, <laughs> damn. Nah, right. bro, they, they they really... You What's that saying? You, you went to the well too much? You went to the well one too many times? They mm. went to the well one too many times with Roman and Brock, man. To the point where it's like, bro, I don't even care for this anymore. We just seen it at WrestleMania. Now, what they can do... Uh-oh. Or what they should have done is you got other guys in the fold, you feel me, looming, chasing that same title. You got Bobby Lashley on Raw. You got Drew McIntyre on SmackDown, you feel me? Y'all should have just gone ahead and made it a four-way. I ain't, or at least worked up to it. I ain't going to hold you. I did see an idea floating around. Um, SummerSlam is going to be Roman, Brock. Seth Rollins, right now, is the likely, in my personal opinion, likely favorite to win money in the bank. I like it. And and he should, after what he did for Cody and everything. He's just, he, he, come on, let's give him something. Mm-hmm. So at SummerSlam, we could have a repeat of the cash-in at WrestleMania. I like that. That would be a different twist on things. And we could probably get one of these titles off of off of Roman. Yeah, man. Wait, let me see if this is for both titles or they ain't. Oh yeah, undisputed. All right. So we could probably get them both off Roman. Either way, I like I like that idea that's floating around. Man, even I don't care how y'all do it, but just there has to be something in this match that makes it different or special. Or and just entertaining, you feel me? Because we we done ran this into the ground. Like, we've seen it mad times, and every time, like it's the same match every time. Yeah, so, bro, I'm I'm good, man. Are you are you tired of the the Romans title reign? Mm. Ran its course yet, or you think it's still some life in it? 
it's life, but we gotta see him fight new niggas. You gotta, you feel me? We gotta introduce some new blood. What happened to Lashley? Wasn't Lashley was just out there with the championship? Like, yo, I'm here now. AJ Styles chilling, ain't doing nothing. Come on, son. Well, first of all, Lashley picked up that some random fans championship. Nobody told him to do that shit. He did. He did it on his own accord. And now they got him in a theory uh, story. Yeah. You know I mean, so he's gonna get that U.S. championship. It looks like. But um, hey, look, Drew, y'all y'all been holding off on Drew and Roman. I guess y'all waiting for um, what's that? Battle in the castle, whatever it is. Oh yeah, yep. Clash at the castle. So I, I guess they're waiting for that, but. Yeah, they they held off for how like a year? Come on, man! Y'all, y'all gotta you gotta start I, working towards it. I just remember like Lashley ain't even lose his title like that. Like remember in that um chamber, I think he got taken out. He yeah. has every reason to get a title match too. Like that's facts. Who did he face at Russell? Oh, Omos. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now you're right. <clears throat> you're right. I'm surprised they ain't do. I don't know what they doing, man. I really don't. That's an easy storyline right there. But I guess uh, SummerSlam is like in a stadium show. They probably want the biggest match they could get. And once again, more than likely, it was supposed to be Roman and Orton. So mm-hmm. they just like fuck it, Brock. Man, yeah. at the you know, I don't want to see, but at the same time, it's like. I understand. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people is injured. People is out. They hurt. Whatever the case may be. So it's a lot of rewriting and all that shit going on. But damn, this again? Come on. Come <laughs> on now. Um, Shouts out to Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley was supposed to be the number one contender for the Royal Women's Championship, but she's not been medically cl- cleared to compete. Oh, and cleared to compete in the title match and money in the bank will please. What happened? Carmella won. <clears throat> so now we get a Carmella in a throwaway match against Bianca instead of seeing Rhea and Bianca. So mm. I'm sad. The <laughs> same. We we could get this match on Monday Night Raw, man. This is another one. This Monday Night Raw. Go ahead. Yeah, Monday Night Raw, like like they do the um Intercontinental um title on SmackDown. They keep that title right on SmackDown. Where we are not putting this on a pay per view for what? Y'all bugging. Yeah, that's that's still crazy. I don't know why, but hey. I remember the IC Championship used to feel like something. That design ugly too. Yeah, now nah, we gotta go back to the we can, we gotta take it back to the old school. Mm-hmm. I don't like the the new mid card design belts is I ain't really feeling them, man. We gotta all the I think all the belts need to be revamped, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's about that time. Tag belts, women's belt, all of it. All of it gotta be redesigned. Yeah, that United States championship, I'm not a fan of. All them shits just look worse and worse as time goes on. Yeah, because it's it's mad. Like, and I seen something on um on Twitter a few days ago about how like minimalism ruined architecture and design and everything like that. And it, it even goes down to like shit. Look at the title. You feel me? Like the WWE Championship is a real minimalistic ass title. Like it's not. Look at that compared to the big gold belt. You feel me? The big gold belt had mad details, rubies in it. It's it's a damn lion perched up doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? A globe compared to the new the WWE championship. It's just a big W with some diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Or the old, you feel me? The old one, the winged eagle. It's like, come on, man. Let's let's bring some prestige and some damn detail back to these championships. What's your own favorite championship belt since we're on the topic right now? Shit, probably the winged eagle joint. The one that the rock had and so mm. that shit was fire. That shit was flea. I don't know. I like circular, like <laughs> circular belts is just fly to me. <clears throat> I like the the big gold belt. That belt is just fire. 
That shit just it just looks like all right, you the you the king of this shit. Words instead of a big ass W <laughs> with some diamonds. Nah, <laughs> nigga. I need some real shit, some detail on my shit. Nigga, you gotta bring detail back to uh back to these championships, man. Yeah. That's why when I the first TNT championship, boy, I cut that yo. <laughs> The red strap with the just TNT shit looked like a Budweiser can. I cut, bro. I cut his ass. But honestly, the TNT championship might be. Is it the most detailed championship in wrestling right now? I don't know. I don't know if I can say that. It might be one of them, though. Yeah. And I like how everybody that got it does their own thing with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Niggas change their style up. So that's dope. But, yeah, it's definitely been a couple variations of it. Like, shout yeah. out to you know what I'm saying? A dub, we here now. We get we we showing A dub some love. I'll get us up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I seen my son uh Veer Mahan cut a promo just talking normal. About what? Fear Veer. But he he wasn't using the accent or nothing crazy. Did he ever have an accent? I mean, he was just talking. I don't think he had an accent, but he was just talking like it, it wasn't him. Like he wasn't talking like himself. So now he cutting promos and shit. They got him out there like like he talking like it's just me and you backstage. I'm like, all right, back. I'm rolling. Man, look, I said before, Vid needs to be. A maximum male model, man. Get Vid with uh, Max Dupree. Because mm. this... Uh, look. The the, a the ancient hill, the damn foreign hill thing only goes so far. You feel me? So, it's, it's already losing steam. It's been lost steam. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to figure something out. And Vid already, he be on Instagram like, Posting pictures, this nigga be suited up, you know what I'm saying? Dressed nice. So it's like, you might as well put him with their Max Dupree. I ain't gonna hold you. That would be a good look for, um, for, for definitely Via. Like, I'm, I've, I've been seeing him, like, out, outside, like you said, in suits and all of this shit. Like, mm -hmm. you would, that would be dope for him to hold, switch it up like that. Because I'm looking forward for, to, for Max Dupree's. Stable. I want to see who they're going to put in there, son. They've been holding it off every week, but that would be a great fit now that you say it. Throw, throw Vare in there, man. That's the first thing I'll do. Y'all got to – I got to – look. Y'all got to focus on what you got. You know what I'm saying? We got talent here. Let's not misuse nobody. Let's not do no stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Because once the crowd stop caring, it's a wrap. And the crowd is, is gonna stop caring soon, so y'all might as well pivot now. Do what you can do. Yeah, man. Next week we got Cena. I'm looking forward to it, man. Yeah, we back. Go back. Hold on. <laughs> Thank God Cena coming back, man. It's tough. Nigga, Vince McMahon probably going to get that nigga a big hug, lift him off the ground and shit. <laughs> Boy, we don't got, we lost Cody Rhodes. Sasha quit her job. Naomi not here. I'm struggling, John. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Whole locker room in shambles. Word. Niggas, brung, niggas even brung Elias back, nigga. This shit is getting crazy. Thanks. <laughs> This brought Elias back from the dead. I clearly remember the vignette of Elias. I remember the tombstone. Nigga said Elias 2017 to 2021 or whatever it was. I was like, all right, well, I guess my son, it's over. <laughs> I'm like, damn, Elias was four? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like they brought that nigga back, man. And I ain't going to hold you, man. I looked at the shit. Like, I'm on the timeline. I just seen... Like Elias, I'm like yo, what the fuck going on right now? Yeah, we right, did. I'm mad. I'm drugged up, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm confused as shit. <laughs> What's going on, chief? 
<laughs> a lot is back, nigga. I'm confused. Hell yeah, we back. Back like I never left. Nah, son. I was hyped to see Elias. I was like, bring this back. Word. Bring Elias back. Y'all, y'all trying to get Ezekiel over. Nah, bring Elias back. We got crowds. Once something go up. Hell yeah. I always said like Elias was always like a main roster act. Like he could just put him on raw. You got a three hour show. We could go out there and burn some time, do the backstage segments, perform for the crowd. Facts. Heat niggas up. Word. Elias versus Rick Boogs in the guitar fucking shredding contest. Man, so mm-hmm. and Rick Boogs hurt too. Get well, Rick Boogs. You know what I'm saying? But so much potential, man. Word, man. Somebody on that somebody in that, that locker room learn how to play the, the damn guitar now. Who's next? Who's next? Words. One of y'all niggas learn how to pick up a guitar. If I was, bro, if I was Vince, if I was the boss, I would have been having niggas and damn musical lessons doing all types of shit, bro. <laughs> all right, man, go learn how to play an instrument real quick, just in case. Word. Here's this plastic recorder. That's what they start you out with in third grade. Here you go. Take this plastic flute. <laughs> See what you can do with this. Play this harmonica. Hell yeah, just another level of entertainment, man. You've seen it with The Rock. The <laughs> Rock was going out there with the guitar, had his concert. Singing. I think it's a legend, man. Shouts out to um the conversation we had about The Rock last week, man. Facts. Shouts to Brian H. Waters and Evan T. Mac, man. Yeah. Mac, the podcast. That was, a, that was dope. They were really dope guests, man. Hell yeah, man. That was great. That was great chopping it up about The Rock and where you put them in your top wrestlers all time. That was dope. Thanks. Um, we got anything else to talk about from these shows? Anything else you might have seen you want to bring up? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't I don't think so. I don't think so. Um Monday Night Raw, AJ Styles faced off against Somebody, so it was somebody, yeah. and I was like, "What? Oh yeah, yeah." He he faced off against Champ. I was like, "What?" And I had to step away. I didn't even see that match, but I was like, "I was like, nah, we we got to get my son AJ and something, man." Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So. This time, man, they they, I don't want to say they wasted his time, but man, put him in a damn title picture. Him versus Roman at SummerSlam would have went crazy. Like, I don't know. I don't know what they're afraid of, man, but. Who knows? I don't know what the plans are. I don't. I can't tell you nothing, man. You feel me? All I know is that it's ta- it's niggas on that roster that should be. You feel me? This. I mean, I don't know. There's so many different ways niggas could like build up to like who faces Roman. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas can have Roman come out like yo. I don't. He already said it on on what is it on Friday night? He was like, I beat everybody. You know what I'm saying? So be like, who's next? You could have had niggas do a. Uh, he could have Roman doing a damn open challenge. You could have um, niggas doing a battle royal to see who's number one contender. You could bring that damn list back of uh, the, like the rank, the ranking system. Like it's, it's mad ways you could go about it, man. Oh, all I'm saying, man, whoever beats Roman, made niggas. I'm pretty sure it probably end up being Brock or somebody who's already made. Maybe, but it's, it's, I don't know. I feel like niggas ain't putting enough thought into it, man. Like, the, what's the whole, you have a creative team. Get creative, nigga. Do some, do some new shit. Create a, a different type of match. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the ranking system. Have niggas fighting up until them, the pay-per-view. With nigga, if you beat this nigga, you, you take his spot, so on and so on. Like, bro, oh, niggas ain't thinking hard enough for me. Yeah, it's sad. It's really sad, man. Um, yeah, man, that's all I have for this week. Shit, that's all I got, too. I'm in vacation mode, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to breathe. <laughs> My son fighting for his life. Dying, you know. Inhaler. <laughs> Facts, man. We're going to get into Talk To Me Nice. Talk To Me Nice. Yes, sir, man. Talk To Me Nice. Shit, we really might be an hour 20 this week. Look at that. Crazy. Shit, we really, 
We we get in, we get out, man. Hour twenty minutes. You feel me? <laughs> and while y'all here, make sure y'all y'all run that YouTube up. You feel me? YouTube.com slash black and out stable. We run it up over there, but for now, we here with the TTMN. Let's see uh let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Um, shots to Banks. He said, "This question is for Cody, my brother, with good taste in music, because I know Chris listens to the same thing as Eve. All that jungle music, my my brother. What do you mean by that? <laughs> jungle music is crazy." <laughs> he says, "So Cody, who's your favorite? Scare the hoes rappers." <laughs> Damn, gotta <laughs> gotta scare him with uh, is Saha. Or- <laughs> yeah, the hoes rapper. A hundred percent. You think so? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on Saha with your shorty in the car, man. See what happens. See, she, see if she rapping along or if she looking out the window like this. <laughs> Definitely looking out the window. Yo, I'll be playing some shit. <laughs> she be just like, yeah, what the fuck? I'll be playing some weird shit, man. Play some Elza. <laughs> With some wild shit <laughs> in front of the ladies, my brother. <laughs> well, man, I be having urges to hear songs and shit. It's just like I'm a, I'm a hear what I got, what I want to hear, and then we could get into the playlist. You know, what I'm saying you gotta have a playlist that, yeah, you know, that's reasonable for you and your lady. Like we can't all be riding the L's out. You feel me? <laughs> we can't. Is that the wildest shit you ever played in front of your shorty? Um, yeah, that one, that one might have to be. <laughs> Yeah, I remember one time it wasn't my current, it was probably my ex, but like you I think I played first infantry by Alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> first infantry had came on. I was like, oh nah, I gotta take this off. <laughs> Yo, nah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, nah, I gotta take this off right now. Nigga was deep in his bag. Oh D. Uh, niggas know I love First Infantry too. I love Alchemist. That's one of my favorite producers. But yeah. that came on, I was like, nah. So let me put on some Bryce and Tiller. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said Elzai. Man. And Bank- Banks, my brother, look, you gotta. <laughs> and Banks, he, I've been saying this because Banks, been, he been trying to shit on the Drake album. And I understand the slander, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I know a lot of people don't like the Drake album. But at the same time, it's like, bro, this this Drake album, you this is outside day party. You feel me? This mimosa, you feel me? I'm chilling, I'm vibing with the hoes music. This ain't scared of hoes, fin- crack rock music, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a different vibe. Did I want an entire album of it? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? But there's a few joints on there that slide. You know what I'm saying? So I'm rocking with it. Nah, that's what happened. That's what happened to me. I first listened to it. I, I guess like I was, I wasn't expecting that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wait, what? It's a whole album of this shit? Like, nah, I'm cool. Rapidy rap. That's why. Yeah, exactly. But like the next day, I listened to it. I'm like, all right, I, I see the vibes. Yeah, and I'm not I'm, be in the right setting for it. Nah, you definitely have to be. And I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. Like, like you people want to branch out and try new shit, so. Facts to me, like I, I compare this to like you remember when Ye did Jesus, and it was nothing but damn like machine sounds and synths, and it was like, yo, what is this? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? To me, this is it's almost the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Where he just brand he tried some different shit. It's a couple songs on there that that goes, and it's a couple that that may not. You know what I'm saying? That's either not for you or you don't like it. But overall, it's like, all right, nigga tried some new shit. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, let's see. Shouts to the outsiders connection. By the boom, by the man. He said, "TTM, man, what are y'all three house party essentials? What you need? They have to be wrestling related, not all of them." Ooh, three house party essentials that you need. House party essentials that I need, and they got to be related to wrestling. Hmm, what do I need for a house party? I need the drink. For sure. You got it. You can't have a house party with no alcohol or nothing to drink. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, and now, as an older gentleman, if I go to a house party, there has to be food there. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas is going to be drinking a lot. Um, and some niggas can't handle it. Some, look, if you're drinking, you need food. Period. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we definitely need the alcohol. We need the food. And we need the music. You feel me? I don't know if, if food relates to wrestling. Maybe catering. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> like, okay. I don't know if al- alcohol relates. I mean, maybe. I'm I'm not gonna go there. I, there's a layup right here, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Oh man, if you're getting better, man, you're getting I'm better. A family man, I'm a family man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nah. I think those are the, the three essentials that you feel me. A person my age needs for a house party. And then there's you know other things, games, you know, women's, but yeah, facts. That's very essential. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta take some off that list. Man. So look, I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take food off that list. Man. <laughs> I don't need food, bro. Give me give me the liquor, give me the hoodies, and give me the mercy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we in there vibing, nigga, to this. <laughs> I'm in the spot, chill. <laughs> I'm in the pool. <laughs> Oh, can't breathe. I'm in the house party dancing like kid and play to that shit. Oh, man. Man said the ladies. How could I forget? You know why? Because I'm, I'm, ta- I'm, a, I'm a good man now. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Not all about the ladies. <laughs> See? I ain't even thinking about that. Nigga, give me some food, some Uno, and some alcohol, some tequila, man. I'm straight. Shouts to Ken. He said, TTMN, this is a question for Cody. I see that the go home SmackDown before SummerSlam is going to be in Atlanta. Will we expect you to be in attendance for that show? And if the answer is yes, will we see another Cody Dre vlog on the Patreon covering that day of preparation? Hmm. You know what? I didn't even know that. You know what? See, geek, <laughs> I'll be using my code. <laughs> nah, I got to do that. Definitely got to do that. That'll be dope. Hmm. Yeah, let me write that down. Yeah. Oh, man. Shouts out to you, man. I I had no clue. Nah, that would be dope, man. We, we definitely got to get another Cody Dre vlog. Yeah. So I might do a vlog when I'm out in there in Dominican Republic. Nigga, you're about to be wilding at a vlog. Nigga, I'm about to see me talking Spanish. <laughs> I'm about to be in that bitch talking like you remember Rush Hour too. This nigga, um, Chris Tucker was like America, America, <laughs> come to America, nigga. That's about to be me, <laughs> America. <laughs> I'm about to go up. Oh man! All right, shouts to Justin Jones. Um, he said TTMN. What women's wrestler y'all need? Ooh, y'all need for where the Batty Riders. Did I say that correctly? Yeah, you did. I'm going to go ahead like that for you. In the ring, forgot to add that. Who damn, who needs the, the Batty Riders in the ring? Hmm. Would you please inform me on <laughs> what Batty Riders is? Yes. All right, so Let me break it down for you. So basically, Batty Riders is, well, Batty is a girl, you feel me? So a person or a girl's backside, you know what I'm saying? So her, her ass. And they call it Batty Riders because basically the shorts is riding up her ass, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it's called Batty Riders. But then who, who without Jade? Hmm. Naomi got to come back for sure. For but sure. Not, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I, look, I don't. <laughs> Juicy hands. <laughs> Juicy hands. Nikita, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Shit, who else? Nah, I don't want to get deep in the bag. Cause... <laughs> 
<laughs> niggas gonna be like, that's yeah. how you feel, freaky ass nigga. <laughs> you was bound to. Too. I, I'm over here thinking. I was like, you know, let me chill. You need to go. Freak man, freak man. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> go over there in the corner with your strange ass. <laughs> oh man, let me see what Twitter got for us. I know it's something. I know, I know. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> My brother, that is crazy. <laughs> All right, hold on. Matter of fact, let me double check. Just double. got a minute to play these drops. Right. I need to add some new shit. So I say this every week, but I really do need to sit down and just add some shit. Yeah. Shouts to Ken again. He said, uh, just to cover all bases, I wanted to give y'all a solid shout out for taking part in the fundraiser for the, the wrestling club. Um, that's a great cause to send to those to send those kids uh to Mania. Also, if Miss Suku is on the show tonight, can she give us a little update on the retrogrades and shit? My brother, she she is not in tennis. So thank God, because look, I didn't even know it was a retrograde. I don't know what's going on. And look, ain't no such thing as a retrograde. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the moon and gravity and all that shit look. It don't, it don't exist, man. Yeah, that's my update on the retrogrades. Go outside. You know what I'm it, it's not real. <laughs> Go outside. You feel me? If that lady asks you what your birthday is and what time you was born, don't stop talking to her. Do not go forth. You feel me? Don't proceed. Facts. Oh man. Shouts to uh shouts to M Beard. Uh he said it's not a question. It's not a question of if, but when Mox comes back to the E, do you think he'll go back to Dean Ambrose or keep John Moxley? I can hear Michael Cole now. We all knew him previously as Dean Ambrose, but now his real name is Gian Moxley. His old music was fire, so they can keep that. But I'm just wondering about the name. Hmm. Hmm. Dean Return is Mox. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think they value they the shield. And if he was to come back, I feel like they would value the name and like him being part of the shield. You got Roman there and everything. I think that would play into it. Mm-hmm. But I, that, I don't know. That, that, that's a good question. I'm, I'm, but I'm going to lean towards him coming back as Ambrose if it all goes down. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Dean Ambrose also just because, you know, that's what is, what is it? An intentional property or internal property, whatever. It's IP. So, they, you know. That's why they be going by their real name outside of the WWE. So I'm I'm gonna say he rocks out as um I was gonna say Dean Moxley. I'm bugging. He rocks out as Dean Ambrose if he comes back to the WWE. And I don't know if he he'll come back, man. Who knows? I don't. Know. That's that's really one of them things I I really don't know. Yeah. Because you know, he I don't want to say he's living out his dream and damn um. And AEW, but he's he's a cornerstone for him, man. He's holding it down for him. And he's like the second highest paid um wrestler right now. He after um Brock Lesnar, I think. What a win. So hey. But that schedule. Mm-hmm. What a win. You're getting paid, brother man. So chill, oh. man. Never coming back to the E. <laughs> Nigga work one time a week. Well, not once, because, you know, he's doing, like, indie stuff also. Yeah, and he, that's he, just because he loves the shit. Like, right. if he didn't want to, he'd be at the crib, blunt lit. Chilling. <laughs> man. Respect to Dean Ambrose, man. John Moxley. Salute to you. Salute, man. Let's make some noise for that. Let's make some noise for that. <laughs> <Really? laughs> Got to double up on the applause. Hell yeah. But yeah, man, that's that's it. That's all. Damn. We made it. Made it through. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm really surprised. I didn't know how this was going to go. Um, It was tough, but we did it, man. A light show. <laughs> 
<laughs> Very light. Hey, look, if if y'all look, if y'all are upset that it, this is a short episode compared to what we usually put out, my apologies. I'm leaving a day. I'm you feel me recording this on Tuesday. You feel me? We usually record on Wednesdays. You feel me? My fault. But your boy, look, by the Bro, time y'all hear this. I, I I wasn't even gonna record, son. I ain't gonna hold you. I I really was gonna be like, nah, bro, I can't. Man, look, I understand, my brother. <laughs> I understand, man. Look, if you can't record, you get shit. I would have honestly, if niggas, if it's ever a day where you and Chris can't record, I'll probably just put an instrumental on and talk over it for forty five minutes <laughs> and just break down what I think about wrestling and put that out. For the world, you know what I'm saying, but and then we have no podcast to come back. This <laughs> Niggas week. gonna strike us down. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, Eve getting him. Eve would say some shit that gets all of us canceled when he just the only one on the show talking. He be saying some wild shit. We fucking around get canceled. That's why I can't tweet from the page no more. I was like, bro, I, I had to leave Twitter alone because I was like, man, the, the things I want to say <laughs> about people, <laughs> man, like. Things, people, the vision, every man, the things I really want to say, I got to refrain. Well, the things I really want to say, I say on Patreon. So if you want to hear it, tap in patreon.com slash black and house table. Feel me? Pay the five, pay the 10. But I had to leave Twitter alone, man. It, it was not helping me at all, helping us. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. I really don't. Is All right, man. I give my all. I give my all. Yes, sir. It's your boy Cody Dre. You'll follow me on all social media platforms at Cody Dre. C O D I E D R E. Listeners, thank you for rocking with us. I already know where to find the same place, same time next week. I'm out. Cody Dre. That, my friend, is a big fact. Man, look, please make sure y'all tap into the YouTube. YouTube.com slash Black Announce Table, Patreon.com slash Black Announce Table. Uh, hit the GoFundMe. Keep supporting those children at KIPP uh, Middle School. Um, the GoFundMe is not, there's no uh, limit on it. You know what I'm saying? So if you haven't donated, make sure you know donate. So, you know, donate a little one, a little five, a little two, whatever you can. You feel me? We appreciate it. You feel me? Shouts to BRP. Check out that BRP 50 list. On YouTube, check out that top 10. Read about it. Watch it. Do all that. Shouts to the H-Show. Shouts to the guys, man. Um, Like I said, make sure y'all follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Black Announce Table. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Sky High Eve. It's your boy, the certified good youth, Bishop T.D. Sycamore, Alan Ivermectin, Eve Luch, Mr. 200, Playboy Yardy, Millie Kidman, Eve LaFleur, Fax Dupree, Rudy Jobert, the pina colada don dada, but most of all, and most importantly, I miss the AKA. And bitch, if you let, bitch, if you act up, you let the AK spray. You feel me? I'm up out of here. I'll be back next week with stories and a tan. Feel me?